RGC Podcast. Hello, Rio Grande City. I'm Melinda. And I'm Becky. And welcome to Lunch Break. Becky, what do we have going on this week? We have a lot of stuff going on this week. I know, right? Um, Yes. Our library, the Rio Grande City Public Library, just completed their first week of the summer reading program. And along with all of that, they have a fun Friday program where every Friday they have a new presentation for kids or adults or people of all ages every morning, every Friday morning at 10 a.m. So the first one that we had, we had the RGV cosplayers come on down. Then we had a presentation on how to take care of pets and maintain pets by the VI Pet Salon. And this Friday, June 16th, at the Rio Grande City Public Library, again at 10 a.m., they're going to have author Maricela Flores. So it's sure to be a really good, fun Friday this Friday. So come on down. So this Thursday, June 15th, Texas Regional Bank is having their groundbreaking ceremony at 10 a.m. And just to give you a little snippet or a little information about Texas Regional Bank, they started in 2008 and they have 20 locations across the Rio Grande Valley and the Texas Hill Country. And this is their first branch over here in our neck of the woods. So we want to give them a huge welcome to the city of Rio Grande City. Yay, welcome. Uh, We also have on Saturday, Rio Grande City Main Street's downtown market is happening at the historic Britain Avenue Piosco from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And come on over and visit and come and see the great shopping that is happening downtown. There's crafts and food and uh, people bringing their unique items. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for for a gift, Father's Day is coming up. I'm sure there will be plenty of items for to choose from. Yeah, shop local. I love market days. I'm going to try to, I didn't get to make it the last time, so I'm excited. I'm going to try to get there early, especially because of the heat. So (laughs) come on down and see. But we're going to have a lot of um, vendors, so it's going to be an exciting day. And again, like, you never know what you're going to find there. So another thing I want to talk about is Freedom Fest. We have our Freedom Fest celebration happening on Saturday, July 1st, there's going to be softball tournaments, there's going to be cook-offs, a car show, uh, fireworks, so much more. We have, um, for our bands, we have La Firma coming, La Casetera, we're going to have David Fernando, and of course, our very own homegrown commissioner, Ben De Leon, and of course, Solido. So come on down, it's going to be a fun day, Saturday, July 1st. So I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. I cannot wait to to be done with it. <laughs> to be done planning it. <laughs> but it's, it's going to be a good day. day. Okay. With that said, we will now continue. We have uh, our guest. Our guest, we have Mr. Ruben Islas. He has been with the city for, he talks about it. He tells us exactly how long he's been with us. And he is our international business ambassador for the city of Rio Grande City. And he also is a business owner in, you know, in Star County. And yeah, he has the Arco Iris um, snow cones. And it's like, you know, business is booming right now because. Oh, I know. I mean, it's just <laughs> crazy hot right now. So. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. and on the third Saturday of every month for a day of fun, food, and fantastic shopping. Our outdoor market features over 30 vendors selling everything from handmade crafts and jewelry to fresh products and delicious snacks. But that's not all. Rio Grande City Downtown Market Days also offers music, entertainment for everyone, and a chance to connect with your community. It's the perfect way to spend a Saturday with your family and friends. So mark your calendars and meet me downtown for Rio Grande City Downtown Market Days. We're open from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. right here in the heart of our historic downtown on Britain Avenue. Don't miss out on the deals and the fun. We'll see you there. We are joined 
today with Mr. Ruben Islas. He is the City of Rio Grande City International Ambassador. He has a vast background in so many different things. He work, He has worked at HEB for over 29 years and he is a manager there. He works in boxing, but I don't know what you do in boxing. Like you manage? You know, I'm a, I'm a boxing promoter. Oh, okay. Yeah, boxing promoter plus plus uh, like um, I'm representing you know uh, it's association in Mexico that I'm, I'm in charge from the United States that's awesome yes that's really really cool yeah. he was our Chamber of Commerce president for over three years he is a business owner and in 2019 he was named mr. paisano for the city of Comarco and so we're so excited to welcome mr. Islas to the podcast thank you Becky and thank you Melinda you know said you know, it's a pleasure to be here in this wonderful day in Rio Grande City. Excellent. Um, Tell us a little bit more about your experience here in as a business owner and also work, or you're still working with HEB. How yeah. many years have you been with HEB? Okay, uh, right now I have 29 years working in local in this local HEB in Rio Grande City. Uh, I started in 1994. Um, okay, uh, I graduated in 1994 here in Rio Grande City. And then you started working at HEB? You know, I started in 1994 <clears throat> and with HEB, and I started, uh, you know, my first day, I, uh, I started like a bagger. I was, a, you know, a partner, you know, get, you know, pick up, you know, basket outside on the, on the store. And then from there, you know, I was a, a cashier, you know, I worked in maintenance, and uh, I was in bakery. You know, probably I do a little bit of round, round out uh, inside of the store. But, uh, you know, I started, in, and then I started in a, a, like a manager, overnight manager. And then from there, I started, you know, be, you know, like running the service, you know, uh, service department. From there, I, I started, you know, uh, working like a, around the store, like a manager in charge, the whole store. Okay. And then you, you're also a small business owner. Yes. You know, have my, my owner, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm owner from Rio Grande City probably like 12 years, 12 to 13 years ago. Okay, so how, with that, how did your experience working and learning the business aspect of, you know, managing a company or managing within a company help you with starting your own business? Like, was it a large learning curve or was it kind of something you were able to just go ahead and jump in and, and navigate through there because you already had the experience from H-E-B. Yes, I'm getting, you know, I got my experience, you know, with the, with the store, uh, like I said, too many years ago. Uh, H-E-B, you know, provide me uh, years of career, and I do like two years and a half, like a business management, and uh, and then it's when, it's when I started, you know, you know my own business uh, here in Rio Grande. And then from there, I started jumping to my second one in Roma, and then my third one in Alto Bonito. They're very successful. There's always cars all the time, and I always want to get a class spot. And <laughs> there's people there and wait in line, and yeah, so, so very good success. Yeah, there. I appreciate you know you know the, the the customers from Stark County. You know we we have a lot of support, mm -hmm. and that's why we continue growing in, in Rio Grande and in Stark County. And so, how long have you been working as the international ambassador with the city? Okay, I have a year and a half. Year, a year and a half, uh, you know, in, in Star County, Rio Grande, uh, and I was the president from the Chamber of Commerce, okay. you know, three years, three years in, in, in that position in Rio Grande. And so then, it, how did it come about that you became the international ambassador? Okay, uh, I want to thank you, you know, the, the mayor and the commissioner for, you know, for uh, bringing me this opportunity, you know, to, to be the ambassador uh, from Rio Grande City. Uh, I was you know, working with connecting with the, with the border, like Camargo, Miguel Alemán, Diaz Ordaz, uh, Mier and Guerrero. And then that helping me a lot to be a ambassador, to have that connection with the alcaldes, that means like the mayors from, from the border, and then to be, uh, to working together, you know, to be um, working in, in the business area, to, to maintain, you know, people, you know, coming to Rio Grande City. And why do you feel like it's important to have these relationships with our sister cities across the border? Okay, this is very, very important because, you know, uh, 
people from the border, you know, before they they, they travel in, you know, to McAllen, or they're still traveling to McAllen, but one of the one of the big, you know, uh, class to Rio Grande right now is the store marshals, mm -hmm. because we have people, you know, coming from from uh, Monterrey, from you know, from the border. But now they stop in first here in Rio Grande, and then uh, they're not, they cannot go now. They cannot go into McAllen, and then uh, they can uh, shop, eat, and stay here in Rio Grande. You know, a bit local here. Yeah, they stay local here in this area. What are some of your personal goals for the city? I want to be a commissioner, okay. you know, to continue helping the, you know, Rio Grande City, our community, to continue growing uh, in this area. I think we have a, a lot of future. Uh, right now, we have a, uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, businesses, you know, coming to Rio Grande and uh, we expect to, to bring more more businesses in the future, and that's why you know I'm planning to to stay in the city and uh, to be you know one day a, a commissioner. That'd be awesome. Tell us more about your boxing promotion. Like how how did that come about? Okay, uh, I, in the boxing area, starting 25 years ago, uh, taking you know boxers to different uh, cities means like uh, McAllen. I started in McAllen. Uh, from there, I started in, like. Uh, taken to California and in Las Vegas. Oh, okay. You know, when I uh, said boxers, I'm, you know, you're talking about like from Mexico area or from the United States. You know, um, my first one was here in McAllen and uh, I started with one uh, one promoter from uh, Mexico and he invited me, you know, to, to be, you know, a partner in, in the box, boxing area. And uh, from there, you know, with the years, uh, right now I'm with one of the organizations in Mexico and United States, that uh, I'm the president from the United States, you know, and uh, in charge and in, in the whole United States. And uh, this association is named is IWBO, in is Interworld Boxing Organizations. Uh, we're planning to do an event um, in July, the 28th, in mm, McAllen, Texas. Give us a little bit more of what boxing entails. Okay. okay. The different the, the difference here is a promoter is when you do your own events, but like I'm representing this organization in Mexico and United States. Okay, I'm the person when I you know I'm taking the belts to the champion of the of the of the fight. That's the only difference, you know, when promoter do the events and the organization, like I said, is to bring the bell to the champion on okay, top on so the you ring. Do the event, not the individual or not the fighter. That, not on this time. You know, before oh, okay. before you know we you know we working you know doing the, the these events you know with boxers. Uh -huh. But now you know, uh, like I said, I'm bringing the bell to the champion. Okay. It's, it's two different you know yeah. uh, you know things okay. in that That's area. Really cool. uh, yeah, that is cool. How many? How big is is boxing in our area? Here in, in the valley, believe it or not, we have a lot of people, you know, go to this, you know, go to these events. Uh, probably you're talking about if, if talking about the pain arena, you know, uh, most of the time is like sold out, okay. you know, in, in, in these in boxing events because, like I said, not only in Las Vegas, not only in California or in other, you know, like states, but in the valley we have a lot of people, you know, like boxing, boxing area and, uh, you know, to, to promote to promote this in, in the valley is a lot, but one of my future you know future plans is to bring boxing to Rio Grande. You know that's one of my plans. You know, you know, hoping you know, in the future we you know we can have something to do you know these events in Rio Grande. You know because you know people I know in the border in the in in, in Roma Rio Grande. You know we have a lot of you know, people that go, you know, like going to, to like to go into these events. Who are the big name athletes that are in the Rio Grande Valley? That Ye have, yes, you know, we have a lot of talents here in the Valley, but uh, one, you know, we have two champions in, in, in the Valley. That one is Omar, Omar La Panterita, and then in the brother, uh, Brandon Figueroa. They're from Westlaco. Okay. And uh, yeah, they're from Westlaco. The ball, they're like champion, you know, championships of the world. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like I said, and we, yeah. you know they have you know in the valley have a lot of talents, you know, and uh, they you know they go to fights you know, on other places, but uh, yeah, definitely the boxing area here in the valley is very very strong. And if you were to open some sort of boxing 
activity here in Rio, how would that work? Like, would you, like, would you introduce children? Like, kind of like karate classes, you know how they have like younger kids and then different classes or would you immediately start with older? I don't know how it works. Yeah, okay, that is very different, different Becky, because you know, that's when you say that is because you need to open like a school. Yeah. You know, and and and, um, and I'm planning to bring the boxing events. That's a lot of different, oh, I you know, okay. that's a lot of different in that area, because like I said, it's cool. You know, probably there's a plan in the future. You know, to to open one. You know, one school here. You know, here in Rio Grande, a boxing. But you know, the plan is to bring the events here in Rio Grande. That's the, that's two different. You know, uh, sites. I have a, you know, a few people from here, from, from Star County, you know, ask me about that opportunity. But, but not right now in, in, in this area, you know, that's yeah. why we want to okay. promote, you know, yeah. more, uh, you know, to bring something here, to have a school of boxing here in Rio Grande. But uh, that's the plan that I'm working right now to, to be, to, you okay. know, to be part of the, and the future, like co-owner or maybe like owner on, on, on okay. this area. Okay. Yep. Do you think there's any kind of misconceptions when it comes to boxing? Like, do you think people think that it's like too violent or? Boxing, uh, I think if you're talking about violent, uh, some, probably some people, you know, can see it like that. Mm -hmm. But I think to me, you know, to see more violent is like kickboxing. Yeah. That's a lot That's of. That's a completely different. Different. Different thing. Yes. Yeah, because like I say, you know, boxing means, you know, kick, you know, you're talking about kicks, you know, like, oh man, you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of, how do you, how do you say it, like, um, you know, a lot of punches, you know, in different areas mm -hmm. on the body, but I'm um, saying especially like, especially like I said, you know, uh, in the boxing area is only in the face and the body. Okay. And not in the other, or, you know, parts. Yes, yes, parts on the on the on the body. But I'm saying this is the difference. They can, you know, they can wear the you know the gloves. Um, do you, have you ever boxed personally? I never boxing, <laughs> and <laughs> I never boxing. Like I said, uh, only I do karate for eight years. Oh, that's cool. And you know, I, when I was you know very you know more you know younger, <laughs> but uh, but like I said, yeah, that that's my experience. You know, when in in, in the boxing area. I do have one more question going back a little bit to the international business side of it. What are some, do you think, okay, there are some people that do kind of, I think, have a negative view about like when we're, when we have international visitors come or when we have some of the other come. like, what do you think are some of the misconceptions? Because, I, I mean, I think it's important to have, you know, more people come into Rio to, you know, shop, to eat, to visit Rio and help. That's what helps yeah. us expand. But I think there's some people that just don't understand that. So, like, what would you, I guess, say, or what do you feel like the community should know about that? Okay. Uh, like, your question, like, the question you ask me right now is that is very, very important, you know, to me because that's, you know, like, a being ambassador in, in, in the border, Mm -hmm. is is going over there be very close with alcaldes with the mayors mm -hmm. and you know and uh giving more information about what happened in Rio Grande you know what is coming in Rio Grande uh what future is coming to Rio Grande mm -hmm. and and then and from you know to work together is bring her over here uh invest in Rio Grande we, we you know, I'm like we looking for investors and Rio Grande, and, and that, that's the main point uh, to to get more close uh, transportation, uh, to have uh, more business coming from not only from the border. I'm saying from the whole Mexico, especially like Monterrey. You know, that's the, the you know that city close to to here from from mm -hmm. uh, from Rio Grande. But uh, in, this, in, in that area, you know, that this is very, very important, you know, to, to know, you know, what happened in Rio Grande. Mm -hmm. and, 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 uh, and that's, that's the, my project, you know, I'm working in, in, in the border in, in Mexico area. That's so fun. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us today. Um, I know you're super busy.
you're like all over the place all the time. I know you have a meeting soon. Um, so thank you for coming in. We, we're really excited to talk to you. Um, we had been talking about it, right? We're like, we need to get you on our podcast. We need to get you on our podcast. So thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you. Appreciate it for to, to be here. Initiative of the City of Rio Grande City and the Rio Grande City EDC. If you would like to know more about certain topics pertaining to the municipality or have an idea for an upcoming podcast, email mgomez at rgcedc.com or brubio at cityofrgc.com. RGC Podcast.